hello student in this question we are given a function sin of x minus a upon sin of x plus a and we have to integrate it with respect to x so always try to get a single value in the denominator like sin of x plus a is actually sin of cos a plus cos x sin a rather we would say that let x plus a be equal to 3 Therefore, in the integral, if let's say this was i, we would get i is equal to under root of sine of x minus a upon sine of x plus a dx. So it is now equal to sine b in the denominator. In the numerator, it would be sine of P minus a minus a and hence P of minus two a and this dx. So here, if we would have differentiated on both the sides, we would have got dx plus zero is equal to p. So it will be p zero here. Now it looks still better. You open the numerator with the help of formula sine of a minus b, you get sine of p cos of two a minus Cos of two sine of two a whole upon sine b b. Now we subtract. We get integration of cos two a b b minus integration of Sine of two a into cos of two. By b sine b. So this cos two and sine b can also be written as cos two. So we will get cos of two sine two a b b. Now, since the integration is with respect to p, therefore this cos two a and sine two a is constant. Hence, we get cos two a integration b b minus sine two a integration cos b b. This gives us cos two a into p. I will write as p cos two a minus sine two a as it is, and the integration of cos p is log of mod sine p. Thus, a function c. So now, this gives us substituting p in terms of x again. So p is equal to x plus a. So this gives us x plus a times cos of two a minus sine two a log of mod of sine of p, which is x plus a bracket close minus plus constant. So this would be the solution to our problem.